Do you remember that really cool program where you get these exclusive Lego sets that fans are designing and they make like only like, I don't know, 10,000? I think they upped it to 30,000 now. Well, that's the BrickLink Designer program. And if you guys recall, we covered this nonstop throughout the Q1 of 2024 because it was a big year, right? We had so many great releases coming out. We had the old train shed engine. We had the old... The old <laughs> Train Engine Shed, the Mountain Fortress, Persian Street, the Snack Shack, and the General Store. Now, only three out of those five LEGO sets actually sold out, but they were available for pre-order in early February. And it's actually almost time for these to start shipping, which I'm really excited about. But that's not going to be the focus point of today's video. But for those of you who did order it, like myself, we'll be seeing those start to ship around july so we're officially so close to getting those but like i said that's not the focus point of today's video the focus point is going to be the second round of the bricklink designer program as well as the next few so if that interests you this should be a pretty fun video because get ready it's almost time to start your pre-orders because June is going to be, June 6th in particular, is going to be the date we can officially pre-order these Lego, five LEGO sets. And I thought we'd take a look at those because it's been quite some time. So starting on June 6th, we're going to have five more LEGO sets uh, release for pre-order. And they, I believe, will not ship until uh, November of 2024. So that's a pretty aggressive time frame like five six months that's not too terrible for waiting for one of these sets but anyways let's jump straight on into it guys we have the lodging railway and i believe we didn't have prices at the last video where we covered the bricklink designer program sets uh, for crowdfunding too so this one is going to retail for 210 dollars why not just call it 200 dollars is always my point um, regardless, this is a really cool and interesting set. I'm really stoked for it. I don't think we've gotten many Lego bridges ever, and this is one with a train rolling around it. That is pretty sweet. Um, regardless, you get an entire and complete Lego train. It is a steam engine locomotive. It looks like you get a conductor with uh, orange pink pigtails. That's a pretty cool looking minifig. Uh, you do get a log car that has basically eight wheels. So two, two sets of four wheels on this one and just traveling with log. That's a pretty cool and unique car. I don't think I've seen a lot of those. That looks like almost an air conditioning condenser unit or something. I don't know. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, but that is a nice little coach car that you can pull whatever equipment on. You can always change that, I would assume. Uh, that is pretty cool. It's even got <coughs> shackles to tie it down, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and then here's another picture of the locomotive. And then uh, one passenger car that is uh, has a minifig inside as well. So, And then all in all, you get a nice display piece, which is going to be a Lego bridge. Now, I will say that this piece looks like it uses that illegal technique technique of just putting a Lego plate inside one of those like clip pieces for the tracks. So that's kind of interesting. It's not like real Lego train tracks on top of this. So it's not like we could buy four of these or five of these or six of these to make like a complete track elevated, which is kind of a bummer. That would have been really cool. Regardless, this is definitely a buy in my eyes. $210. Uh, it just, it seems decently priced. It does come with 2,700 pieces and only two stickers, which I believe were on both sides of this locomotive over here. Um, regardless, it is a cool set. I'm definitely going to be buying one uh, copy when this is available because uh, I'm a huge train fan, so I think it's pretty obvious there. Uh, the next one is the Ocean House, which is going to be at a retail price of 200 dollars uh again crowdfunding starting on june 6th this one is pretty interesting it's kind of unique um in the sense that it has like a whole elevated building on top of water not something we've probably seen very commonly i think we had that one lego ideas set the fishing store but i'll be honest that set was by far better in my eyes i don't know this set feels like it's missing something for me i it's always difficult in my eyes to see lego with water i always struggle to envision it so maybe that's why i'm not super drawn to this one regardless i'm sure this is going to satisfy a lot of fans it does come with 2200 parts and uh, has a you know a whole scene right that's built up it is 200 and for me i'm going to be personally passing on this one i'm just not stoked about it at all so 
that will be my thoughts and opinions there the mushroom house is the next lego brick league designer program set that's going to be releasing on this june 6th pre-order it is 90 dollars, which i would argue seems a little bit steep for a dollhouse style mushroom build um it does come with 964 pieces i i, I don't know it does come with the, the the buildable snail i think the snail was probably my favorite feature of this set um the mushroom is cool i just wish it was like all the way around it kind of reminds me of like smurf village a little bit uh who knows maybe just call it a, a smurf set right uh, it, is, it is it is unique though it is cool i like the little mushroom up on the side it's a great little floral piece i just always wish when we see sets like this same with the last one we just looked at that they gave us completed backs and builds i know it's a great way to look inside of it but truthfully i'm a fan who loves all four walls that is my own opinion so I'm entitled to it. So that's just me. I personally will be passing on this one as well. It's just something I'm not super drawn to. Uh, I do love the snail though. Uh, tops off there. But $90 does feel a little high on the price point. The Brick Cross Train Station, I feel is the best set of these five that are releasing. I personally will be grabbing two of these because I'm just a insane train fan and I can't get enough train stations apparently. Uh, but this one retails for $280. I think it's a pretty clear like discretion that the train community is pretty big in these Brickling sets. I feel like almost every wave has a, almost a train in it or a, a train station or something to encompass a Lego train, which is pretty crazy. Uh, it comes with 3,050 parts, 14 stickers. I mean, gosh, this is incredible. It looks like it's three straight tracks wide, so you are getting three three straight tracks on the backside there and it features like this like basically modular feeling building uh for the brick cross station it is incredible like i said i'll be buying two of these no questions asked i think this is probably one of the few that will sell out during this time period it is just a fantastic set and for those of you who missed out on the studgate train station back in what 2022 or 2023 um that roll around period on the crowdfunding program i feel like we'll be extremely drawn to this to have a sincerely complete lego train station i mean this is how they should make them like you can't buy this right like this is this is how you do it and you can even have modulars stacked up next to it which i think is a fantastic touch so for me like i said that is a double buy in my eyes because you are limited to buying two per household. The next set is the Omnibus Isle. This set retails for $240. There's a lot going on. And of course, it is a pirate themed set. Now, this one is really, really awesome. And I almost am going to take away um, from the open back because I did say I don't like the dollhouse style. But I think this set is a little bit of an exception that I feel like it's it's pretty good. It's a really, really cool set. I feel like it would pair so nicely with... Um, uh, the old Lego Ideas Barracuda Bay, or even you know the cat. I know the castle is a castle theme, but like my gosh, this is this is incredible. Like you could truthfully pair it quite nicely. Twenty eight hundred pieces. I'm on edge for this one for two hundred and forty dollars. I will debate it, and at most maybe I will pick up one copy for myself to build and enjoy. But you know, gotta save some funds because it's a long year of Bricklink. Uh, designer program so for me like i said the drop two sets are for sure the lodging railway and then the brick cross train station so i'm super excited for those i will definitely be updating the channel as we get more information and uh when the official release of this is going out on june 6th don't you don't you worry i'll be your reminder i'll be your alarm clock for these releases because we do love to update you guys on these sets now with that being said, we do have um, the Oct the Series 3, which will be going on crowdfunding in October. Um, you know, my birthday is in October. If anyone's thinking about a gift to give me, I'm just, this is probably, I'm no, just kidding. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I feel like this is a really, really strong wave. The Harbor Master's Office, I think is, I mean, that is, I will be buying two of those. The Art of Chocolate, I will be buying two of. The Forest Stronghold, maybe one. Uh, the camping adventure, probably one or two, and then probably one of the losses. Like, I'm I'm pretty bullish on this crowdfunding three. I think it's so much better. I, I'm really not crazy about this series two, other than the two train sets. Like, uh, that is my truthful and honest opinion. But I know there's a crowd for everything, and I hope it satisfies you guys. But numbers don't lie. We'll see how the sales do. I'm really excited for that. And then, of course, series four has, again, more Lego trains in it, and then a lot more uh, on the castle side and medieval side, which is which is going to be really awesome as well. And the merchant boat is really cool. So I'm excited for that one, but that's not until 2025 at February 1st. And then lastly, the Series 5 program is actually going to be opening up for submitting here in a couple of days from May 13th all the way to May 24th. 
Um, you can actually submit your own Lego um, submissions and then potentially be crowdfunded if your if one of you if your set is selected to become one of the five that will be crowdfunded. So that one won't be for a while. I'm gonna roll into. Uh, 2025 year production and shipping October 2025 and then crowdfunding of course June of 2025 so I mean it's always nice to make these videos because they are so far in advance but uh, truthfully those times roll around the corner so fast but I am genuinely curious what do you guys think about the series 2 Bricklink designer program sets I am a little upset I feel like there was some better ones that could have been chosen but I'm a train fan, so I can't even lie. The two trains are going to satisfy me enough to be pretty happy with. And you know what? I get to save my money on the rest. But that's going to wrap it up. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'm super pumped for Series 2. I'm super pumped for Series 1 when all these sets ship. Let me know which one you guys want to see. I will be definitely making review videos at some point whenever my three, I think I ordered these three when they come so anyways that's gonna wrap it up make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future update on the brick designer program and as always i'm christo from south city love you guys we will see you in the next one peace out